quick interruption inside the house now. I've been doing a little more research today on the virtual racing and... Hon, why don't uh, you give us an update on Trader Joe's? How was your shopping experience at the grocery store? First of all, thank you for being there, Trader Joe's. You cannot go through a, a pandemic without orange chicken. Says orange I. chicken. They had so they much had every, of everything. Yeah, they had basically everything. And they had literally every single thing I needed. Perfect. And there was a few spots where their shelves were empty, but yeah. produce, dairy, everything was fully stocked. Oh, good to hear. I know. That's good to hear. And we so. and people, there was a couple people wearing masks, but otherwise it was literally. <laughs> They it wasn't overcrowded. Yeah, nice. it was just as usual. For Henry. They give us free flowers to congratulate us. Aww. The best here. Hon, life is good. So, folks, I am enjoying a ton these antioxidant infusion drinks. Bay? Is that how you say it? B A I. Bye, Bay. I love blueberry. Oh, so good. Oh, we're talking about setting up a Demore Global Running oh, run. yeah. Marathon. Whoa. Uh, a virtual marathon-esque we're gonna we're gonna figure out something in the studio together here in a bit but first i gotta eat lunch that's cool so marathon half marathon 10k 5k all that good stuff all that good stuff uh and i'll let you know how my run went here in a second also don't oh. step on my feet <laughs> hello got, we've, got we've got did you get the boys with all I, I, I i did not film i did not film yet happy st patrick's happy day. day feels a little strange but happy st patrick's happy day, day. So just getting back from my run, we got some pork chops, some green beans, some salmon, eating some leftovers, and uh, just uh, absorbing life as we know it now in this uh, new reality. Uh, yeah, in this new reality. So today's run, 11 miles, a little over 11 miles. Uh, what was it, 740 a mile? So pretty, taking it pretty easy. And uh, the legs do feel a little tired, so I decided to back off the volume a little bit today. Was going to go about 13 to 14, so backed it off to 11. Uh, yeah, legs just uh, saying, you know what, just ch chill out a little bit, calm down. And uh, so we will see how they feel tomorrow. And uh, I am planning to do my long run tomorrow, but uh, yeah, we'll just see, see how we recover. Okay, everybody? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, you all are amazing. There's people that watch this channel around the world and I appreciate it. And I wish I could shake everyone's hand. I'm always saying that like every single day there's new subscribers. Uh, and there's some subscribers that have been on board for a long, long time, including Tommy and Crystal. So they live in Oklahoma. They were traveling through Colorado and they made a special stop at our house and left a bag of goodies for the family. Uh, shout out for Henry. So, oh, that is amazing. So they're from Oklahoma and look what is in this bag, a singlet. Uh, it says Red Coyote. Uh, let's see, Red Coyote Running and Fitness, Oklahoma City, Edmond Run with the pack that is awesome can't wait to use this thank you tommy and crystal oh my goodness so tommy just so everyone knows if you ever see a meme on the demore global running facebook group that has to do with me chasing butter it's tommy who makes the memes he is famous for making memes and they also oh my my look at this so tommy is a he lives in oklahoma but he's not afraid to train for a mountain race. So I was able to meet Tommy and Crystal last summer at the base of the Pikes, uh, uh, the base of Pikes Peak, the mountain. And so we took a picture. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. So Tommy is coming back. There it is for the Pikes Peak Marathon this year, 2020. Oh, thank you. And again, I wish I could shake everyone's hand someday. Someday we'll be able to meet at these races once they get going again. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. And of course, there's a onesie for Henry. Socks and chocolate and chocolate. Of course, you guys are the best. Oh, here's the deal, everyone. I am all in 
on this YouTube channel. I think you all have figured that out and I just have learned over time the types of shots that I like to capture uh, for all of you at races, all right? I like those close-up shots so you can really see the running form, the running shoes, and uh, in order to capture those shots like you're watching on your screen right now from Atlanta, I knew that the 70 to 200 millimeter lens that I already owned wouldn't cut it, all right? Because the crowd size, I knew the runners would be too far away from me. Therefore, I rented a 400 millimeter lens uh, in order to get those nice close-up shots. And I'm so glad that I did because I think it turned out really, really nice. Well, I found a used screaming deal on the exact same lens, that 400 millimeter lens. And I decided, I talked to True Love and said, True Love, you know what? In order to capture these high quality shots moving forward for the family out there watching around the world, we need to own this lens so I don't have to rent it moving forward forward so here it is hold on let me just open this up okay there there we go well, i got it out all right game changer so excited innovation right all about that innovation on youtube so this is just going to allow again those nice close-up shots those long so i can get those long straightaway shots um oh and hopefully this fall there's going to be a lot of marathon racing happening and mountain racing that i will be able to use this for all of you, uh, and if you know where to look, you can find some really good deals on used uh, camera equipment. So that's what that is. Ah, oh, so excited. Okay, let me lock it down here and on to the Demore Global Running Virtual Marathon Spring 2020. We adapt as runners, right? Gyms close, everything's closed, theaters are closed, restaurants are closing. We adapt though to the circumstances that are laid before us and yes of course the races are being canceled uh therefore yesterday i announced that demore global running all of us around the world uh seeking out our goals striving challenging ourselves i just think as i said yesterday it would be so i think it's i think it's actually almost not even mentally healthy to work so hard toward a goal and then just to throw in the towel because the official race is canceled when as runners we don't it's like i'm always saying this we don't need a basketball gym we don't need an ice hockey rink we don't need a ski slope we need we don't need we just literally can walk out our front door and go run 26.2 miles or whatever distance you might be training for so i think it's really healthy to see through to the end your goal of finishing out your training block i really do um, I, I just, yeah, I really believe in that. So therefore, I've been, I'm not a race director, but I've been trying, and I've never helped put on a running race. I would really like to do that someday. Uh, but, and I've never personally participated in a virtual race. Uh, but I'd like to, um, but even despite that, I want to be able to create a, a place for us to challenge ourselves and to put ourselves out there and to work hard toward a a goal and for me it was a marathon the Hamburg marathon but it's not happening so therefore uh, virtual races I again doing research over the past couple days is that I don't want you all to have to pay a fee in order to participate in a virtual race okay and because when you with virtual racing what happens is uh, you you run a distance wherever you live around the world, and then the results are compiled together in the back end through software. And it, you know it, it takes someone's designing that software in order to integrate that. Quick interruption inside the house now. I've been doing a little more research today on the virtual racing, and there are some companies that do provide a service where they integrate the results together. And I didn't expect this, but they can provide a uh, a, a medal, like a finisher's medal. Would you be interested, question of the day, would you be interested in me exploring this path of making the Demore Global Running virtual uh, marathon and other distances a little more official with an actual medal, an actual integration of all of our results? Or uh, are you okay with what I'm about to explain about doing it through the Demore Global Running group on on Strava. All right, that's the question of the day. Thanks for chiming in. All right, keep rolling. Uh, and I've been doing research on Strava 
Um, I think Strava someday will get into virtual racing. I'm kind of surprised they don't do it yet. Um, so, you know, if, you, if you're part of Strava, and I realize there's the Nike Run Club, there's the Run Keeper, there's other running apps out there. I don't use those. So I'm a Strava guy. You all know that. Um, so therefore, so if you don't use Strava, um, it'll be a little more difficult to participate. But here's the deal. Here's the game plan. So we do have a group on Strava. We have a great group on Strava. It's, I, don't touch your face. It's an amazing group on Strava. Demore Global Run. There's over 5,000. I, I haven't checked in a little while, but I checked this morning. 5,000 plus runners on the Demore. It's, I, that's like, if you think if we all met in one location to do a race, that would be a serious, serious race. So 5,000 runners on the Demore Global. It's linked down below. Um, you can also type it into the Strava app. It'll show up. And uh, what's going to happen is, and I'll get you the date for the race here in one second. Um, on that day, we're going to go run and we're going to go race. But we're not, the results are not going to be compiled in a, let's say, okay, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Like, it's not going to work like that. They're all going to just be listed uh, in one location. And we have to remember also uh, different time zones around the world. So the results will be coming in at different times into the Demore Global Running uh, group on Strava. So, but, but, here's one little proposition. If someone had a lot of time and they felt compelled to compile results into a spreadsheet, I don't have that time. But like at the end of the day, and listen, we're all going to be running different, um, so I'll get it to the distances as well. But we're all running different vertical gains, elevations, like I'm at 5,280 feet above sea level. So it's, all, it's, it's, it's not like we're all running the same course, obviously. Um, also, not everyone's training for a marathon right now. Some folks are training for a half, a 10K. So what I'm going to say, uh, propose, is that on the day when we do the Demore Global Running virtual races, we're gonna, we're gonna label the races uh, Demore Global Running Marathon, Demore Global Running 10K, 5K, whatever, whatever distance you're training for right now, I don't want you to be, feel forced, oh my gosh, I gotta go run a marathon because that's what's happening. Like, that's not smart. You might even end up getting injured. Like, we don't want that. So, um, so I wanted to make that clear. Now, as far as the date goes, uh, I was thinking about the Boston Marathon, the London Marathon, and all the other marathons happening around the world. So many runners had committed so much training and time into these specific dates that I wanted the date for the Demore Global Running virtual races to be right around those dates. So I kept it the same. Sunday, April 19th, the same day as the Hamburg Marathon was going to be, and, and a week before the London Marathon was going to happen, okay? So if you were training for London, now if you want to do a 26.2 ma uh, mile marathon uh, race, a uh, virtual race, you can bump it up one week to Sunday, April 19th. Um, I, I plan to start 8 a.m., somewhere near Denver. I'm still working on it. Frankly, everyone, I'm still working on a course here in Denver. I don't know where I'm going to do it yet. Uh, so I'm, I'm researching and trying to figure out what that's going to look like. All right. And one last point is that the t-shirts, if somebody out there would be interested in designing a t-shirt for this, let me know. Ah, so graphic design is not my strong point, but I know there's some graphic designers out there. If you'd love to design a t-shirt and we can uh, put list it down below from Teespring. Oh, hold on. If, and we're back. Okay. If, and we can list it down below and this would be like a first inaugural uh, race, uh, virtual race put on by Demore Global Running. I don't know. I think it'd be cool to have a t-shirt. So, um, and I would send you the logo that I have. So that would be pretty neat. All right, everyone, there you go. Demore Global Running virtual marathon and any distance, okay? Meaning half, um, 10K, 5K, and even a uh, shout out to the high schoolers. Oh, I feel so bad for spring track. Everyone's spring track seasons are being canceled. Like, I'm sorry, high schoolers. Like, that's, it's just like, it's heartbreak. I don't know what, to, it's, it's heartbreaking because I know um, especially for the seniors. So yes, one mile, two mile, that is cool with me 
as well. And again, I'll get more details as the date approaches for Sunday, April 19th. Oh, one last point. Live stream tonight. Uh, this afternoon, I should say. 4 p.m. Mountain Time live stream here in the studio. I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, going inside. Okay, hon. We, uh, it's our pot of gold. It's our pot of gold. <laughs> we just talked about the virtual marathon. So fun! Working out the details. Uh, the whether it's going to be through Strava strictly or who knows, there is a company. It's okay. crazy. Uh, you know, people would have to pay, but a company for medals. So they would ship out a medal oh, oh, oh. if they complete the task. I can, I'll make you guys a medal. Right, well, there you the go. Make the there medal. you go. That's pretty impressive, though. So isn't that cool? And that's a business. Yeah. That's cool. That's a cool business. So anyway, but we are on date night, date night in the house. Can you imagine Best date night ever. this happening, this pandemic happening 10 years ago before Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, DoorDash like wow. so now it's just amazing it's wow so anyway we are going to order dinner in and uh, that'll be our date night because uh i don't know if you heard all restaurants in denver are closed in denver so i didn't hear that when, yeah, when was that this morning wow so anyway i mean i think that's smart but your heart goes out to the workers i know and that's uh that's one thing to think about is the people that work off of tips man i bet there's people that watch the blog that work off of tips yeah. so Boy, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know. But hopefully, yeah, maybe the house and Senate. Yeah, hopefully but, there's relief coming. I, I was talking. I ran to the school today to pick up the kids' books and homework and lesson plans and everything. And we were just talking to the the principal and secretary, and I were just saying how much this is putting into perspective how lucky we are, how our lives yeah. are so easy, how you need something and you click click, and two hours later it shows up at your door. Yeah, just yeah. Just to yeah. never take anything for granted. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love it. <gasps> Lo night. Love you. I love you. Love you. Ooh. And love you. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. It's day night though, guys. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. We'll go wash our hands. We'll go wash our hands. <laughs> All right, everyone. We love you. We're going to toss it back. Oh, you have to do it because you are on that side of the screen. We're so right, right here. you can go like this. You go like this. We're going to toss it back to yesterday's vlog where we talk about uh, setting up the virtual marathon. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'll cheer, so, I'll cheer everyone on. April 19th. Oh, yeah. Okay. April, April 19th. 19th. All right, everyone. Seek beauty. Work hard. And love each other. Woohoo! See you tomorrow.